ओम सदाशिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यतौ वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने योग मद्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावत सहनौ हुनक् सह वीरकवाह तेजस्वीनावती तमस्तुमा विभिषा वह ये ओं शांत शांत शांति धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात मुच्यते प्रकृति धातु ब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्तु मे लोका सप्तद्वीपा चे श्लोक ऑफ दी एट चैप्टर लास्ट टाइम लेट्स लुक एट दी इलेवेन श्लोक द इंट्रोडक्शन बाय भगवान भाष्यकार गोद पुनरपी वक्षमाण उपाय प्रतिपीक्षित ब्रह्मण वेद वेद विद्वदनादि विशेषण विशेष्य अभिधान कौती भगवान् सो भगवान् कृष्ण अभिधान कौती अभिधान मीन्स हि कैंड ऑफ अभिधान मीन्स लाइक अ नेम अभिधा सो हि मेन्शन समथिंग विथ वर्ड्स and what is that word that word is uh, it is uh, it is a description rather it is a description see pada and padartha pada and padartha have nitya sambandha now padartha when you talk about padartha some vishaya how will it be talked about it will be talked about by some name if you have to talk about a thing you you have to name it or you transact using that name if you want to call out a person there is a name so for vyavahara you need some name so that is abhidha abhidhanam abhidha or abhidhanam abhidhanam karoti he introduces this name or he describes using the name so punah api again vakshamane no upayena through the means that is going to be talked about what is that means for vakshamane no upayena pratipitsitasya brahmana ha अभिधान कौती भगवा भगवान् कृष्ण कस अभिधान कौती ब्रह्मण अभिधान दिस् ब्रह्म विच विल बी टॉक्ड अबउट दिस् ब्रह्म ब्रह्म विच इज विच हेज बीन टॉक्ड अबउट ब्रह्म विच इज प्रतिपीत प्रतिपीत ब्रह्मण दैट ब्रह्म विच इज प्रतिपीत प्रतिपीत इज प्रतिपत्त इष्ट प्रतिपत्त इष्ट इज प्रतिपीत प्रतिपीत because brahma is neuter so pratipitsitasya brahmana that brahma which should be known which is desired to be known which is desired to be known because that that is the goal of life and the upaya which will be talked about how to know this brahma that upaya means has to be talked about सो वक्षमाण उपाय प्रतिपीत ब्रह्मण वेद विद्वदनादि विशेषण विशेष से ब्रह्मण दैट ब्रह्म विच इज विच हेज विशेषण विच आर दि विच इज विशेष सो विच इज विशेष विच हेज अ विशेषण विच आर दि विशेषण विशेषण वेद वेद विथ वेद विथ वदन वदन वेद विथ सो यू कैन सी इन द नेक्स्ट श्लोक देर इज वेद विद वदी सो वदन इज वदी इज इज कवर्ड बाय सींग दिस् वदन हियर वदन दैट यू सी हिडन इज वेद विद्वदन सो वेद विथ वदन वेद विथ इज दिस् वेद विद वेद विद प्रातिपदिक वेद विथ एंड वदी हियर इज अ वर्ब ही यूज इस ल्युट ल्युडंत ही यूज इस भावे व्युत्पत्ति प्रत्यय टू गिव दि सेम ऐडिया ऑफ दिस् वदी देर बाय दीज आर दि विशेषण वेद विथ वद 
वेद वित् वदन सो वेद विद्वदनादि विशेषण विशेषस्य ब्रह्मण दैट ब्रह्मा व्हिच कैन बी नोन बाय दोस हु आर वेद वित् एंड दे टॉक अबाउट इट सो पुनरपि वक्षमाणेन उपायेन प्रतिपित्सस्य ब्रह्मण वेद विद्वनादि विशेष विशेषस्य प्रतिपित्सस्य ब्रह्मण अभिदानम भगवान श्री कृष्ण करोति हाउ थ्रू द 11 श्लोक दिस श्लोक इज द फॉन्ट विजिबल इज द साइज क्लियर ऑन द स्क्रीन बिकॉज़ वी हैव शिफ्ट टू डॉक्यूमेंट ओके सो ही सेज इन दी इलेवेंथ श्लोक का भगवान कृष्ण से यदक्षरम वेद विदो वदन्ति विशन्ति यद्यतयो वीतरागाह यदि छंतो ब्रह्मचर्यं चरन्ति तत्ते पदम संग्रहेण प्रवक्षे दिस इज क्वाइट सिमिलर दिस यदि छंतो दिस दिस एंटायर श्लोक का इज पैराफ्रेजिंग ऑफ कठोपनिषद मंत्र रियली सो इन स्मृति भगवान कृष्ण recalls this veda vachana vedanta vachana upanishad vachana from katha upanishad and he teaches arjuna yat aksharam yat aksharam veda vidaha just give me a moment some entanglement of yeah aksharam veda vidaha vadanti and then यत यतयः यति यतयः यतयः वीतरागाः यतया दोस यति फ्रॉम हुम रागा हैज गोन अवे वीता विगतः विगतः रागः यद इच्छन्तः यद इच्छन्तः वी कैन कीप एस समासा कैन बी ब्रोकन बट लेट्स कीप इट दैट वे यदि छंतः ब्रह्मचर्यं चरन्ति और वी कैन सेपरेट इट आल्सो यदि छंतः यत इच्छन्तः ब्रह्मचर्यं इच्छन्तः चरन्ति यत यदि छंतः ब्रह्मचर्यं चरन्ति इच्छन इच्छन इस शत्रंता इन प्लूरल इट भी इच्छन्तः इन प्रथमा बहुवचन इच्छन्तः चरन्ति किम इच्छन्तः यद इच्छन्तः यद ब्रह्म इच्छन्तः ब्रह्मचर्यं चरन्ति ब्रह्मचर्य इज गुरुकुलवासा ब्रह्मचर्य एज अ डायरेक्ट मीनिंग ऑफ सेलिब्रेसी बट इट इज इट कैन बी टेकन एज ब्रह्मचर्य आश्रम गेट द उपनयन संस्कार एंड देन फॉलो द गुरुकुलवासा फाइनली इट इज नॉट टू वेद मंत्र पाठ चैंटिंग इज नॉट फॉर द सेक ऑफ चैंटिंग द गोल इज फाइनली दैट निर्गुण ब्रह्म Moksha. So Brahmacharya, although the first ashrama uh, is to go to Gurukula, first ashrama is to get the Upanayar Samskara and go to Gurukula, still that Brahmacharya, the celibate's life in the Gurukula is not for just learning Veda Patha as its own goal. Vedam Nitya, Vedo Nitya, uh, this uh, Nitya Madhyatam. Vedo Nitya Madhiyatam says Bhagavad Padacharya in in his shloka, in his stotra, he says Vedo Nitya Madhiyatam, as a duty Veda should be chanted. So for that reason, get the Upanayana Sanskara, do Shravana of the Veda Patha, do the study the Vedas and then study the chanting of the Vedas and chant it every day as a Nitya Karma. But the goal is not that, the goal is यद इच्छन्ता यद ब्रह्म इच्छन्ता हा ब्रह्मचर्यम चरण्ति ब्रह्मचारी न हा द ब्रह्मचारी इस दो द गुरुकुला वासा गो टू द गुरुकुला और पेरेंट्स सेंड देम टू द गुरुकुला फॉर विच गोल टू बी अटेंड फाइनली इस दैट मोक्ष पुरुषार्था सो चरण्ति तत्ते पदम संग्रहे न प्रवक्षे तत्ते तत्ते तव और तुभ्यम संग्रहेण अहम तत्पदम प्रवक्षे संग्रहेण ब्रीफली आई विल टेल यू प्रवक्षे आई विल प्रकर्षेण वक्षे ब्रीफली बट एक्यूरेटली प्रकर्षेण अहम वक्षे प्रकर्षेण वक्षे प्रवक्षे अहम प्रवक्षे से कृष्णा टू अर्जुना 
is before I Marthi Kesi. Yadaksharam Veda Vidaha. Veda Vidaha is Prathama Bhuvachana. Thereby, thereby this is Vitiya. It is Karma. Yadaksharam Karma to Aksharam Yad Aksharam Veda Vidaha. Veda Vidaha are those who know the Vedas. Which Akshara they talk about? Vadanti. And then Yat Yatayaha Vitaragaha Yatayaha Yat Vishanti. Vishanti Pravishanti. Vishanti is Pravishanti. They enter which Yatis? Vitaraga Yatis. Those who are free from Raga. Raga is an Upalakshana. Includes Vesha also. Yat. Yad Vishanti. They enter which? In Samadhi or in uh, as a Mukti, Dwara to Mukti, what they follow and they enter that Mukti state of Moksha or Brahma or their own Sarupa Atma. Yat Ichantaha and desiring which, desiring which Brahma Charyan Charanti, Karma to Charanti here, Tat, Tat Te, 4 or 6, 1. Padam Tava, Padam Sangrahena Tubhyam or Tava, Padam Tubhyam is fine, <coughs> Tubhyam, we will take Tubhyam, but I will just mention it, sixth case is also possible, thereby both cases are Padam, Padam Aham Sangrahena Pravaksha, briefly, but even if I talk about it briefly, it will be accurate, so for, if you are alert, you will get it just by this brief statement. Or it is an introduction, summarily, and then it will be detailed further. This is the same thing that, uh, similar thing, which is paraphrased here, what is said in Kadopanish is also that. Uh, uh, Yamaraja tells Nachiketa, Sangrahena uh, Omityetata, uh, it will be there, I think Bhagavan Bhashyakara may quote it. Yeah, we will look at it, the... Uh, in the next introduction, he talks about that. Uh, so, Om Ityetata, he will finally talk, that is Om, Om Ityetata, Sangrayana Bravimi, yeah, Bravimi, Sangrayana Bravimi says uh, Yamaraja to Nachiketa. Here it is Sangrayana Pravakshi, same idea. Thereby, <coughs> sorry, Kathopanishad mantra has been paraphrased here. So, yada, uh, aksharam Veda Vidaha Veda Vidaha Yad Aksharam Vidanti uh, Sorry Vadanti Then Yatayaha Yatayaha Vitaragaha Yatayaha Those ra, Yatis Sanyasis from whom Raga has gone away So Vairagi Vairagi Sanyasis Yad Vishanti Further what? Yadichantaha Brahmacharinaha Brahmacharyan Charanti. Tat te, te, tat te, or aham, we can say aham, te, tat padam, Sangrahena Pravakshe, Aham Pravakshe. I will talk about that briefly, says Bhagavan Krishna. The next shloka introduction, 12th shloka introduction is a little elaborate, a little longer. What does Bhagavan Krishna say here? The next shloka is 12th shloka. 12th shloka introduction says, Sahayu, Sayu, it's a, it's a quotation from Prashna Upanishad. Sayo Havaitad Bhagavan Manushyeshu Prayanantam Omkaram Avidhyayita Katamam Vavasatena Lokan Jayati Iti. There is a question in Prashno Upanishad. So Satyakama asks Pippalarishi, he says, he questions, Sayaha Havai, indeed, which is Prasiddha Saha, Yaha Prasiddha that Bhagavan Manushyeshu 
prayanantam at the end of the life prayanantam omkaram abhidhyayit which is uh, <coughs> sorry which is meditated upon so that which is meditated upon by by who by all these all these upasakas by the upasakas or which the upasakas meditate upon and then at the end prayanantam this omkara which is meditated upon by the upasakas prayanantam at the end of their life katamam vava satena lokam katamam lokam vava indeed saha saha upasakaha saha yo vai tad bhagavan manushyeshu prayanantam omkaram avidhyayit saha upasakaha saha upasakaha yah ha vai tad tat abhidhyayit that which the upasaka meditates upon so let me rephrase it i have been trying to do karmani so one rather one who meditates on this manushyeshu yah so manushyeshu kashchid upasakah yah havai indeed prasiddhah prasiddhah so havai indicates that prasid prasiddha omkarah you can omkaram so this upasaka who is well known to meditate upon something and what does he meditate upon omkara avidhyayit avitah dhyayit he meditates upon omkara so prayanantam sah at the end of the prayana sorry prayana prayana is at the end of this prana comes to an end in the sharira upasaka's goal is to attain some loka he has done karma and he has done upasana now he wants the karma phala so katamam katamam is there are many lokas among them which one katamam tama pratyay is there tama is tama pratyay tells you which among many one among many katara means one among two katamam means one among many so there are so many lokas 14 lokas are there so sah tena tena omkara dhyanena that omkara dhyana that he is doing due to that omkara dhyana what loka will he get which loka which among these many lokas will he get katamam lokam vavasah tena jayati omkara omkara upasanena or dhyanena jayati which loka will he attain this is the question in the prashnopanishad to the guru by satyakamah तस्मै सहोवाच एतद्वै सत्यकाव परंचा परंच ब्रह्म यद ओंकारः सो द आंसर ही गेव इज द गुरु गेव द आंसर टू सत्यकाव तस्मै तस्मै सहोवाच एतद्वै हे सत्यकाव सो सत्य का हे सत्यकाव परंचा परंच ब्रह्म यद ओंकारः व्हाट इज दिस ओंकारः दैट दे डू उपासना परब्रह्म एज वेल परब्रह्म सगुण एज निर्गुण एज वेल सगुण ब्रह्म इज ओमकारा ओमकारा रिप्रेजेंट्स बोथ सो बेस्ड ऑन व्हाट इज हिज उपासना ही विल गेट दैट काइंड ऑफ अ लोका सो थ्रू ओमकारा वन कैन गेट ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ फलास वन कैन गेट दी बिकॉज़ इट इज ईश्वरस नेम सो सगुण ब्रह्म इज कवर्ड and that name once you analyze it akara ukara makara akara what it represents his stool prapancha ukara sukshma prapancha makara the susupti avastha where neither the stool nor sukshma is there the avyakta so thereby all three worlds are covered all three avasthas are covered and omkara represents that through these three manifestations one which has anurutti in all the three states that turiya is covered by omkara thereby it is nirguna brahma also so saguna as well as nirguna both para and apara brahma tasmai sohovacha etadvai satyakam parancha om aparancha brahma etad param aparam cha brahma yat 
what is that omkara eva that omkara itself is both thereby iti upakramya having begun the section having begun there you see you see 5.1 and 5.2 is the beginning there and 5.5 there it ends or there is an analysis which reasoning which is reaching a conclusion there iti upakramya having begun so in the fifth cha- fa- chapter yah punaretam त्रिमात्रेण ओम यह पुनरेतम त्रिमात्रेण ओम इत्येते नैवाक्षरेण परम पुरुषो अभिध्यायेत स सामभिर उन्नीयते ब्रह्मलोकम इत्यादिना वचनेन थ्रू दिस वचन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द मंत्र मंत्रेण इत्यर्थ थ्रू दिस मंत्र इन द फिफ्थ चैप्टर फिफ्थ मंत्र इटसेल्फ व्हाट इज सेड यह पुनः एतन त्रिमात्रेण ओम इति एतेन एवाक्षरेण परमं पुरुषम अविध्यायित वन हु मेडिटेट्स अपॉन दैट परम पुरुषः स सामभिर उन्नीयते ब्रह्मलोकम उन्नीयते सो थ्रू दैट उपासना वेयर वुड ही रीच दैट उपासकः सह वो सयोह वै तद भगवन मनुष्येषु व्हाट इज दैट फाइनली स तेन कथम लोक जयति ब्रह्मलोक जयति ओंकारेण सामभी सामभी इज दट अक्षर ओंकार अक्षर सामभी सह उपासक ब्रह्मलोक उन्नीयते और सह ओंकार सामभी उन्नीयते बेसिकली ही रीच इज ब्रह्मलोक दट द आइडिया हियर so grammatically i have to look into the mantra i'm just giving the idea there each and every word i can't talk about because i have to see the bhashya there ityadina vachanena through that what is the idea through omkara where which loka will the upasaka reach if that is the question he can reach the brahma loka ityadina vachanena and thereby not only saguna but nirguna is also available there in brahma loka because brahma loka is not the goal but krama mukti if one gets krama through krama mukti one can get the the uh, brahma loka and as a stepping stone from brahma loka one can get jnana there because it is very easy to attain brahma jnana and mukti there it is clear in kathopanishad the, the another mantra says that it is clear as day and night atma anatma viveka is like day and night you cannot get confused as a human being you cannot be confused who has eyesight you cannot be confused between day and night it is clear as day and night that's the phrase similarly is clear the atma and anatma vishaya in brahma loka in other lokas it is a little unclear because other lokas there is so much to enjoy in on prithvi there is so much dukha and sukha there why its atma anatma is not clear but brahma loka if one can reach there reaching there is extremely difficult but if one can make it then it is pos- there is a high probability of getting advaita jnana and moksha there why ityadina vachanena there why saguna and nirguna both are attainable through omkara anyatra dharma anyatra dharma but in this chapter basically uh, saguna saguna upasana is being mentioned and brahma loka as a prapti uh, sadhana for that is omkara that is being mentioned here ityadina vachanena anyatra dharmad anyatra dharmad iti cha upakramya sarve veda yat padam amananti tapagumsi sarvani ched vadanti yadi chanto brahmacharyan charanti tatte patam sangrahena bravim yomyatye tat इत्यादि इत्यादि वचने ही परस्य वाचक we'll go to that a little later. <coughs> so, another Upanishad also, not only प्रश्न उपनिषद अन्यत्र धर्माद अन्यत्र धर्माद नचिकेता आस भगवान यमराजा टू टॉक अबाउट दैट विच इज बियॉन्ड धर्म एंड अधर्म इस धर्म एंड अधर्म आई नो इनाफ यू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग विच इज beyond this dharma and adharma which i have asked you through the third question third vara through third vara uh, in kathopanishad nachiketa was given three boons first two boons he asked what he wanted for his father for himself 
But the, through the third boon he asked about Atma, Atma Jnana, Brahma Jnana. There why when Yamaraja is teaching, that time he starts praising, he starts praising Nachiketa. First he offers him, he tries to trap him through a lot of offerings which Nachiketa due to his immense Vairagya rejects. Then when Yamaraja is so impressed, he can't help but praise Nachiketa. And when he is praising, Nachiketa does not want him to go elsewhere. He says, you give me Atmajyana now, forget about praise. I don't care about what, what, I, what praise, your, your glorification about me. I don't want praise, I want this Atmajyana, so you get to it. So he says, Anyatra Dharma, Anyatra Dharma, whatever, Yat Pashyati, Tad Vada. He tells, whatever you see, whatever you know, you tell me that right now. So, Anyatra Dharma, what is beyond Dharma and Adharma? Idicha Upakramya, there the question, he repeats that question in another manner and then having begun there in 1.2.14 in Katopanishad, Sarve Veda Yat Padam Amananti, all the Vedas talk about which Pada, which Padam is Padaniyam, attainable goal, Amananti, they talk about which, all Vedas talk about which goal to be attained as Moksha, Moksha is the Purushartha there, in, through all Karmakanda also, that is the goal finally, Sukha, Sukha Rupa, Swarga is Sukha Rupa, but not long lasting. Long lasting but not Nitya. Brahma Loka is also long lasting. It is the longest lasting Loka. But still Anitya. But Nitya Iva in comparison to all Lokas, it is Nitya Iva. As though Nitya but not really Nitya. Figuratively, relatively permanent. Tapam Gumsi, Patapam Si. Sir Mantra Tapagumsi Sarvani Chedvadanti. Tapam Si. All tapas or sarvani chayad vadanti vedaha sarvani cha tapamsi vadanti. All of that is what all the tapas which are being talked about in the dharma shastras. Yadichantaha, what we saw here in the shloka, yadichantaha brahmacharyam charanti, as it is picked up and placed here. Satte padam sangrahena, but instead of pravakshe bravimi from Katopanishad. Yadichantaha, we have seen this, but the tatte padam sangrahena aham bravimi says Bhagavan Yamraja to Nachiketa. And what is that finally? Here he has not said that. Here Bhagavan Krishna has not told it yet. What is that? Bhagavan Bhashyakara says that in mantra, the mantra ends, Katopreshad mantra, in the same mantra he says, Om iti etat, Om iti etat, all that is nothing but Om. What is being talked about? That Brahma, whatever you think is the goal, that goal is Om. And Om is a name, it is an introduction. What is this Om? Then the discussion, uh, the, the elaboration starts of what this Om is. Similarly, here in Gita also, Ityadi Vishya Vachanehi, through these mantras or statements of mantras, Vedas, Parasya Brahmanha Vachaka Rupena, through that Parabrahma is being talked about, through Omkara, what is represented? That Padartha is Parabrahma. Parabrahma Vachaka Rupena, through, through speech, what is said Om, through Vachaka Rupena, through the word, through naming, that as Om, Vachaka Rupena, Omkarena, and Pratimavat Pratika Rupena, Va or Cha, Cha also Patha is there. So Pratimavat Pratika Rupena, like what here is, Vating, comparison. Pratimavat, like a, like a Pratima, like a symbol. What kind of a symbol? Pratika Rupena, like a symbol, it is, it is a sound symbol. Omkara is not a symbol to be meditated upon as a written letter because Om is Akara Ukara Makara. When you write it, somebody has put it together as some kind of a, uh, this Om the way you write it, but it is Akara Ukara Makara and in Sandhi it has become Okara. So O, Okara and Makara. 
But individual components are akara, ukara, makara. Through sandhi, akara, ukara has become okara, but okara not as dhimatrika okara, but trimatrika okara. Trimatrik okara. There are uh, o plus ma. It takes three matras, om. So om is three matras. So pratimavat, pratika rupena va, that symbol, omkara is a symbol there, it's a sound symbol. Through the word Omkara naming or through this Pratima Vat Pratika Rupena Va or Cha Parabrahma Pratipati Sadhana Twena Manda Madhya Buddhina Vyakshita Se Omkara Se Upasanam Kalantare Mukti Phalam Uktam Yat That which is talked about. What is this talked about? Mukti Phala. Mukti Rupa Phala. The Mukti Rupa Phala which has been talked about how? That mukti that you get is not directly through karma or upasana. Upasana is also karma really or karma anga. Upasana itself is an activity. Through activity you cannot, you can get karma phala but karma phala cannot be nitya. So how is mukti phala attainable? Kalantare through upasana, omkarasya upasanam kalantare mukti phalam uktam yat. It is, this Krama Mukti is Kalantara, it will give you Mukti. How? You go to Brahma Loka, then at some time you will get Mukti. If you don't get it there, then there is Janma. So, Omkarasya Upasanam and what is that? Parabrahma Pratipatti Sadhana. Omkara is Parabrahma Pratipatti Sadhana. It is means to attainment of that Parabrahma Kalantara. It will give you Kalantara Mukti. For whom it is, it is not for Uttama Adhikari, Mandama, Mandama Madhya, Madhyama Buddhi Naam, those who have Manda or Madhyama Buddhi, slow or a middling intellect. For them Vivakshita se Omkara se, this Omkara which is Vivakshita for Omkara Upasana, Omkara se Upasanam, Yat, Yat is what? Vivakshita se, Manda Madhyama Buddhi Naam Vivakshita se. Intended for them. Them meaning what? For all of us. Uttama Adhikari is freed on Tattvamasi Vakya. But others have to do Upasana, others have to do Karma, get the Chitta Shuddhi and then after like the wood which is dry, it will catch fire. Similarly, this Upasana will dry the wood. In the example, in the exemplified that it will make the Chitta Shuddha enough for Jnana to take place, Jnana Utpatti to happen. Tadeva ihapi kavim puranam anushasitaram yaraksharam veda vido vadanti idicha upanyas, upanyas tasya parasya brahmanaha purokta rupena pratipatyupaya bhutasya omkarasya kalantara mukti phalam upasanam yoga dharana saitam vaktavyam. So here also that this very same idea which is discussed in pra Prashnopanishad or in Katopanishad that Omkara as a means to attainment of Saguna Brahma, through Saguna Brahma Upasana, attainment of Brahma Loka or even through Nirguna Upasana, attainment of Brahma Loka being possible through that, that is the goal. But final goal is the Mukti, Nitya Mukti, Mukti Phalam Kalantare. Kalantare Mukti Phalam here is really what? The mukti is not here and now. So therefore, Krama Mukti. Even if you take Mukti as Brahma Loka itself as Mukti, that's one possible way. But that Mukti Brahma Loka is not attainable now. I finish the Upasana and, and any Karma or Upasana does not give Phala immediately. It generates some Phala. That Phala is given to you in time. It is not immediate. But this Jnana Phala is immediate. If Jnana takes place, then that Jivan Mukti is immediate. But the Mukti which is Brahma Loka Prapti or Brahma Loka Praptyanantaram, after attainment of Brahma Loka, Mukti which is possible on resolution of Brahma Loka or through Jnana there, but the resolution of Brahma Loka is end of Brahma. Brahma, Brahma's life comes to end, then his loka also comes to end and then all those who have got jnana there in Brahma loka with Chaturmukha Brahma as, it, as the Acharya there, 
then they get mukti through the brahma loka resolution those who do not get it they are reborn in the another kalpa so tadeva iha api here also what is talked about through this 9th and 11th shloka iti cha upanyastasya parasya brahmana what has been mentioned introduced there that purvokte purvokta rupena pratipatti upaya bhutasya omkarasya kalantara mukti phalam upasanam yoga dharana sahitam vaktavyam the same thing which is that brahma to be attained to this upasana at a different time as a phala mukti phala that should be talked about yoga dharana sahitam because six chapter yoga has been talked about seven chapter some description has been given now eight chapter also there is some some discussion there so yoga dharana sahitam dharana dhyana samadhi so yoga dharana concentration of the mind through that dharana which is done as yoga along with that it should be talked about vaktavyam this upasana should be talked about how should that upasana be how should that on what should the mind be concentrated on at the end of life bhagwan says you keep me in mind how how should that be done that should be talked about so prasakta anu prasaktancha yatkinchit in context whatever has to be talked about ityam artha uttara granta arabhyate whatever is valid here in this chapter to be brought from the upanishad and the upasana which has to be elaborated that he talks about in the uttara grantha iti ar iti evam artha for that purpose uttara grantha arabhyate the rest of the grantha the following grantha text is begun or is taught by bhagavan krishna to arjuna and through arjuna to all of us sarva dwarani sanyamya manohidi niruddhya cha murdhya dhayatmana pranam astito yoga dharanam sarva dwarani संयम्य मन हृदय निरुद्ध्य मूर्धनी मूर्धनी आधाय आत्मन प्राण आस्थित योगधारण स्वसर्वद्वारा संयम्य संयम्य इज लबंत so sarvadwarani is karma neuter plural second case and nirudhya is also lebanta nirudhya cha avyaya nirudhya having restraint having restraint what so sarvadra dwarani sanyam having controlled all the dwaras having restricted all the indriyas dwaras are indriyas indriyas bring in everything which is outside inward so all these dwaras are to be controlled before one does yoga sparshan krutva bhai bhayan said bhagwan krishna in the the fifth chapter ending so sarvadwarani all these dwaras doorways to for all the vishayas to to reach antakarana it has to be stopped otherwise one cannot concentrate so and then mana also antakarana also has to be restrained it should not be jumping here and there so mana hridhi niruddhya mana niruddhya having control the mind so mind is this mana is also second case neuter where should the mind be controlled and restrained hridhi in the in its sthana where it is hridhi in the hridaya it should be kept the mind should be restrained then murdhi atmanah pranam murdhi adaya atmanah atmanah reflects you here one soul because this atma does not have prana atma which is self brahmatma does not have any prana this atma here is reflects you my own one soul one soul prana pranam one soul pranam adaya lebanta again kim adaya or kam adaya pranam adhaya kasya prana you cannot control someone else so it is one soul so atmanah pranam adhaya where should it be placed adhaya to to be brought and placed 
prana which is going along with the mind it is jumping indriyas are so you see when the mind is turbulent then the prana is also turbulent so murni adhaya having placed it in the heart mind should be controlled in the heart <coughs> brought into uh, restrained in the heart then we have seen that uh, in the last shloka last part we saw it should be the 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 atma or the jivatma figuratively it, it leaves from the brahmarandra should leave from the Bra- Bra- brahmarandra for the yogi to be launched to the to brahma loka so for brahm for one to attain brahma loka he should go from the brahmarandra the yogi should go from the brahmarandra now to go from the brahmarandra he has to bring the prana there so wherever prana goes the the that's why we say prana left the body prana left the body means the person is launched along with the prana the antakarana goes along the sukshma sharira goes along with that and one has association with sukshma sharira therefore one thinks that i am also traveling just like when the body body goes around we say i i am going there i am going here i am sitting i am doing nothing but all this is done by the body the body is going elsewhere we have tadatmya sambandha identification with the sharira and we think that i am moving similarly when the sukshma sharira jumps here and there or has emotion we say i am angry i am sad the antakarana has this emotion but tadatmya sambandha identification is such that the uh, sharira dharma whether stool or sukshma sharira dharma across to oneself thereby the atma jivatma that mithya entity who has become individual as the individual mithya entity remains individualized remains with these emotions remains with this uh, qualities of the sharira also i am fat i am tall all these ideas are there i'm sad then also when there is no jnana advaita jnana even if there is dvaita jnana and one says that i want this kailasa loka or vaikuntha loka or brahma loka then sadhana has been done bhakti has been followed uh, upasanas have been followed karma kanda has been followed pitra loka is desired for swarga loka all these ideas are there through upasana brahma loka here thereby identification is there with prana which takes along the sukshma sharira which is part of sukshma sharira itself but then that prana which is divided into five fold prana prana apana vyana udana samana it also at the end one of those pranas leads the way for the sukshma sharira to be carried and that is what we call as gati there is gati somewhere has to go to vaikuntha has to go to kailasa brahma loka here brahma loka so murdhi adhaya pranam once prana is led to murdh murdha this brahmarandra here top of the head basically murdhi is at the top of the head having place there then astita yoga dharanam astitah astitah engages in this yoga dharana yoga dharana is feminine and it will become in second case it will become yoga dharana karma to astitah kartarikta so one engage in yoga dharana in yoga dharana one one maintaining yoga dharana so one maintaining dharana sentence is not complete yoga dharanam astitah so it will sarvadwarani sanyamya manah hridi niruddhya cha then further what atmana pranam murdhi adhaya yoga dharanam astita san yoga dharanam astita san tatraiva cha dharayan sentence is completed in the next shloka tatraiva cha dharayan and placing this prana there itself holding it dharayan means you hold the prana at the in murdha and then yoga dharana astita is the dharana dharana has to be concentration has to be practiced 
practicing that astitaha om ittekaksharam brahma vyaharan ma manusmaran yah prayati tyajan deham sayati paramangatim then what else then he says bhagwan krishna says om iti further what should he do om iti ekaksharam ekaksharam is single syllable om is one syllable so om iti ekaksharam brahma that is brahma omkara is brahma iti vyaharan chanting that chanting that mam anusmaran omkara so you chant omkara and you recall ishara you can't be chanting rama and recalling ravana i'm just giving contrast complete contrast to show dvaita so omkara chanting omkara and recalling is ishara is because omkara is ishara pada and padarthayor abhedah you can't say rama उच्चारणा एंड बी रिकॉलिंग अ व्यक्ति अदर देन रामा रामा इज अ व्यक्ति राम इज हिज नेम सो इफ यू डू राम 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 नाम जपा ऑब्वियसली यू कैन नॉट बी रिकॉलिंग एनी वन एल्स सो एकाक्षर ब्रह्म व्याहरण चैंटिंग दिस एकाक्षर ब्रह्म दिस ओंकार विच इज ब्रह्म माम अनुस्मरण बट रिकॉलिंग मीस इज भगवान कृष्ण how can you be recalling krishna if he is not omkara when you chant omkara you are recalling ishwara in the form of krishna so omkara is krishna because krishna is one name omkara is the closest name to ishwara because it is ekaksara so chanting omkara which is brahma and then recalling me who is none other than omkara yah prayati one who leaves this sharira shariram tyajati tyajan deham deham tyajan prayati deham tyajan yah prayati sah paramam gatim yati he attains paramam gati not simple gati like every other uh, person who does punya attains so o iti o miti o miti ekaksharam so it will be second case but o iti is there so we'll keep o iti or iti vyaharan ekaksharam brahma vyaharan that is also possible so you can say o ekaksharam brahma iti or o miti since o is being chanted ekaksharam brahma व्याहरण चैंटिंग ओ एकाक्षर चैंटिंग एकाक्षर ब्रह्म हाउ ओम इति ओमकार ओमकार व्हेन यू चैंट यू आर चैंटिंग एकाक्षर ब्रह्म यू आर ट्रांजैक्टिंग वर्बली विद दैट ब्रह्म यू आर एक्चुअली रिकॉलिंग दैट ब्रह्म थ्रू नेम सी एग्जांपल गिवन हियर सी एग्जांपल गिवन कुजी स्वामी जी यूज्ड टू लाइक दिस एग्जांपल Uh, I'll not not go to his example through which he landed on, but what is the meaning of Hari Hi? So one does chants Hari Hi, Hari Hi, Hari Hi, Hari Smarana. You do Hari Smarana just by Hari's name, just to drive home the point. What what will Omkara chanting get? What will Rama chanting get? What will Shiva Japa get? What will you get by just chanting the name? And why should you get just because you call somebody's name? you don't get any phala what happens that person comes to you he looks at you it is a way to draw attention now if i say rama 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 i am calling out to rama hey rama hey rama hey rama so whoever is rama will look at me he he, he is being called so oh, he if he does not hear he may not look but once he hears he look look at me you call out to someone if that person has heard you you call out the name then he'll look at you if he is at a further distance he'll come to you in loke vyavahara we see that similarly rama when he is called hari when he is called shiva when he is called he'll come to you now he comes to you to do what 
So the example is a Puja Swami is Harihi. He says Harihi. You do Hari Smarana. Hari, Hari, He Hari, He Hari, 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 you keep on doing Smarana. He Krishna, Krishna. But Hari, once you call Hari, what does he do? So for that Vyakrana is important. Who is Hari really? Harati iti Hari. He, so Hara you also say, you know, one who steals. So, not steals, takes away. What does he take away? Harati papa miti harihi. One who takes away your papa is hari. So when you just call out his name, he takes away your papa. He has no other job. He takes away your, your papa. He will take away your papa completely and then by swarupa you are shuddha. So the tattva, advaita tattva shines on its own really. Once all the dvaita bhava is taken away, all the papa is taken away which manifests as dvaita bhava. So harihi def, by definition is Harati Papa Miti Harihi. Similarly, for others also now, Om also, when you say Om, Pada Padartha or Avedaha, this Pada will drag the Padartha. In your mind it will drag. So when Om Iti Ekaksharam Brahma Vyaharan, Yakaschit Vyavaharan Vartate, Sa Maam Amusmarati Ityartaha, He recalls me, who else will he recall? But if he recalls Omkara chanting only for some Siddhi or something, he recalls something else that is not useful. That Omkara is representing me, he will be recalling me in some other form maybe, but then therefore he may get some Siddhi, but he will not attain me. Here Bhagavan says, Om iti ekaksharam brahma vyaharan yaha maam anusmaran prayati. He recalls this, he chants Omkara, thinks about me and then gives up this body. Maam is karma for anusmaran. Yaha shatranta yaha prayati. One who leaves the body. How? Yeah, one who leaves. Here one who leaves. Leaves. How? Deham tyajan. Tyajan is also shatranta. Tyajan. Kin tyajan? Deham tyajan. Or kam tyajan? If you know it as pullinga, then kam tyajan. Otherwise, samanya napunsakalingam. Samanya napunsakam. Whereby kim tyajan? Deham Tejan. I don't know whether you are going to give a reply in masculine, feminine or in neuter. So without knowing anything, what is the answer? I'll say Kim Tejan. Tejan yaha prayati. Maam Anusmaran yaha prayati Tejan. Tejan Kim Tejan. Deham Tejan. Giving, giving up the body one who goes. Saha Paramam Gatim Yati. He attains Paramagati. Not anything else. He attains the highest. Ekaksan Vyavaran Maam Anusmaran Yaha Teham Tejan Tejan Yaha Prayati Saha Paramam Gatim Yati. This is the Anvaya. So, Put together you can say Saradwarani Sanyamya Manafidi Niridya Cha Atuna Prana Murnyadaya Yoga Dharanam Astitaha Omiti Aksharam Vyaharan Mamanusmaran Deham Tejan Yaha Prayati Saha Paramam Gatim Yati. These two shlokas put together make one anvaya. <coughs> Sorry. Kincha moreover. Ananyacheta satatan yoman smarati nityashaha tasya ham sulabha partha nityuktas yoginaha. So ananyachetaha ananyam chetas. Chetas is the pratipadika neuter. So ananyaha ananyam ananyam neuter ananyam cheto yasya. One who has ananyacheta, one who has cheta which is mind which is not focused on anything else, nanya. Anya che, che, chittaha nasti, chetaha chi, nasti. Thereby, those people who have commitment only to Bhagavan, satatam, how? Continuously, satatam, yaha, maam smarati, one who thinks about me. So, here it is said, maam anusmaran, 
यह प्रयाति सो एट द प्रयाण काले एट द एंड मोमेंट हु थिंक्स अबाउट मी एंड लीव्स द बॉडी बट वी हैव सीन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज़ द माइंड इज वीक बुद्धि इज वीक इंद्रियाज आर वीक प्राणाज आर वीक एवरीथिंग दैट इज मैनिफेस्ट इन चाइल्डहुड एंड इज नरिश थ्रू आउट लाइफ डिसीज एंड वोर्न आउट इज वीक एवरीथिंग इज वीक ऑन द डेथ बेड इफ इट इज ऑफ कोर्स इट इज अ uh natural death you see in accidental cases do not matter anyway because rarely will anyone be having an idea that i am dying therefore one cannot recall what at that moment anything cannot bring anything to the mind and in natural order of death old age diseased or whatever and then weakened then the mind is not sharp unless you have done it throughout life throughout in a sense whenever you started the journey through and through unless a person thinks about bhagwan it is difficult to recall him at the time of death accidental death also possible a person who is continuously in that tattva committed to ishwara doing nama smarana omkar japa ishwara dhyana then even during the time of accident he will be having that so thereby the gati is defined there but it is a one of rare we don't know of such people who do continuous dhyana continuous we do not know does not mean they don't exist it may be there but this is a general explanation that ananya cheta satatam yo maam smarati continuously one who thinks about me says bhagwan krishna and nityashah nityashas is i think it's an avyaya so nityashah nityashas also nityashah nityashah means what satata means continuously nityasha means for a long duration see yoga has to be done continuously continuously is more important first even if you do for 5 minutes it should be continuous 5 minutes it cannot be that i think about uh, i do some japa and think about some i just say i meditate for a do dharana for 1 minute and try to do dharana or japa for 1 minute and then 4 minutes my mind wanders 10 minutes it wanders and then i come back and do another 30 seconds my mind wanders again it should be continuous first first try to get it continuously people say i do 45 minutes 1 hour 3 hours dhyana see don't target all that initially let it happen in its own time if at all it does happen try to focus on the tattva for a moment few moments few minutes and so on let it continuously happen so satatam says continuously yah smarati satatam smarati and nityashascha smarati it should also be for a long time after it becomes satata then satatatvena nityashah it should be continuously and for a long duration tasya aham sulabha he partha tasyam sulabha sukhena labhya ityartha labha he i am attainable easily हे पार्थ हू इज दट तस्य तस्य नित्य युक्त नित्य ने युक्त नित्य युक्त वन हू और नित्य युक्त अदर पॉसिबिलिटीज नित्य युक्त नित्य न युक्त हू इज कंटिन्युअसली एंडोर्ड विथ दैट तत्व ईश्वर तत्व इन इज माइंड तस्य नित्य युक्त योगिन हे पार्थ अहम सुलभ भवा अहम सुलभ भवा अस्मी i am easily accessible to him okay so uh, i'll finish the anvay and we'll stop there yaha ananya chetaha san maam satatam nityashah स्मरति तस्य हे पार्थ तस्य नित्य युक्तस्य योगिन अहम सुलभ सुष्टुभ भवा आई एम इजीली अवेलेबल टू हिम easily attainable to him
okay so uh, next shloka we'll see in the next part ha we'll stop here om narayana paro vyakta andam ke samvi mandasya antastimi loka sapta dvipa ch me jin any questions okay can see in next part ha namaste uh i i mentioned on the group but uh, in case you missed it